Hello everyone, um, welcome to this edition of this Camford Live podcast. I'm Joe Bland, I'm here with um, Charlotte Mendelssohn and the new head to school. Uh, would everyone like to introduce themselves? Yeah, well, um, thanks for having us. I'm Mimi Edsel, I'm the new head girl. Pleasure to be here, Joe and Charlotte. Um, my name is Arian and I'm the new head boy. I'm Rosie. I'm the new deputy head girl, and thanks for having us. Yeah, great to be here. I'm Matt, and I'm the new deputy head boy. Nice. Lovely to see you all here, uh, settled, settled in your roles. Um, so we're just going to go straight into it. First question, I'm going to be asking everyone. So what are your aims, and what, what do you plan on achieving as uh, head of school? That's, uh, that's quite a big one to start with. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should give it to the big man first. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I think it's been quite a short period of time since we've come together, so we haven't had an opportunity to fully get at it, but we, will have, we have been touting some good ideas. Um, we sort of have to keep a lid on everything. Well, not everything, but uh, some of the things we have to go through the staff first to see whether it's possible so that we don't get you all too excited. But, um, yeah, we want to get into the thick of it with new house events, hopefully. Yeah, I um, think we're definitely focusing on getting as much socialising and kind of competitions involved as possible into year group when we can just get people out of the like bubbles and social distancing that has become normality for the last year. Yeah I think with Covid and everything you've lost that kind of side of school that really fun kind of excitement and I think that's something we would definitely want to bring yeah. back. Fun is a good word I think yeah. we're looking for the fun. <laughs> um, and also well for me personally I also want to kind of build better communications with the younger years as well I think that's really important like seeing the old previous heads when even when I was in shells like I didn't necessarily always feel like I could tell them things or ask if they could bring stuff up but I really want to make sure that there's a really good two-way communication with like especially shells and force um, as we don't know them as well. Well like there's still going to be like a few more sports orientated house events but we also want to focus on like other things not everyone's like worried oh I can't do sport or I can't do this so I'm not going to be able to compete in any house events or I'm not really going to be able to offer something up to my house like we're trying to make sure there's everything for someone so more variety in them. Okay so next question is how are you going to keep Camford spirit up during Covid? I guess we kind of covered this a little bit already so we could talk about that and then also after COVID has kind of blown over, hopefully, next year. Um, what would you like to see more of when there's less restrictions? I definitely think socialising between year groups, I think that's really key, like especially in house as well. Um, I feel like that's been lost a bit, which is really sad. Um, I, yeah, I think as much socialising as possible with the SFC. I mean, nothing like that could happen outside of school. So it's those kind of things that we just want to make the most of while we're in school yeah and as a day pupil as well like that's something that I've been missing out on over the last however long it's been but like we want to get that going again yeah exactly hopefully Touchwood in September will be free and then uh, we'll be back to competing in a range of stuff with other schools so hopefully let's get everyone down for sports events or even non-sporting events such as you know debating um, it'll be great to just be able to go back to normal life and see Camford in its prime again. Yeah, yeah, and I think with, um, like, for instance, we don't have any school, whole school assemblies anymore. Um, just bring, tying the community together, I think it's, like, something that we really need to focus on um, because the community is definitely still prominent, it's still really strong, but as a unit, it's, it's kind of weakened a bit because of, obviously, um, bubbles and social distancing and all of that lot. Yeah. yeah, I think Matt summed up really well. He said we want to make things more inclusive. Yeah, you know, Every like, well, I know we haven't been able to do a lot of mixing, but hopefully, maybe not all the year groups, but maybe you'll see a bit more of us in assemblies, hopefully, fingers crossed, as long as nothing gets worse. And let's mm. make those assemblies yeah. engaging <laughs> rather than teams. Yeah, because I guess um, it's kind of like a first for you guys, being the first heads of school during something like COVID and um, you haven't really had anyone to look up to um, as in direction. So you guys are kind of, um, you know, making your own path. 
Okay, so the next question's for Rosie and Arian. Um, and for the new six form heads, what was it like joining Camford and the transition from online lessons, seeing everyone on the screen to seeing them in real life and in the classroom? I mean, it was definitely a very odd experience meeting a whole bunch of new people for a screen. <laughs> definitely something I was a first and hopefully a last. But um, ever since joining in September, it's been a lot smoother of a transition than I'd thought before. I mean, I thought I'd be missing a lot of my old friends. Uh, I do to an extent, but it's just, it's been very engaging here. I've met loads of great people, had a lot to get involved with, despite all the restrictions that have been going on. Hopefully it'll be even better from next year. Mm, what you said about being strange to meet, meet people on a screen, I agree. But also I think it was actually so good that they joined all of the new, new sixth formers in with current fifth formers at the time because like that first boundary had been broken down and yes it was awkward but it was allowed to be awkward because you were on mute on teams so it kind of stripped away that first boundary a bit obviously adding a multitude of other boundaries um but then it was so weird coming into school in september and uh, i remember amanda walked up to me and said it's so nice to finally meet you and i just looked at her and i was like what because it felt like we were already friends because we'd met online and it was nice to know people and have familiar faces in a very daunting situation. Yeah, exactly. I'd agree there, actually. Now I think about it, it was quite a nice, easy in process mm -hmm. because I sort of made friends online and I got to speak to them over the summer about, you know, what's, what's been going on at Camford. And when I came into the school, I already had a set sort of people I knew. And that was actually quite helpful, just yeah. getting to know people, getting my way around school as well. So, yeah been a positive experience joining in well it's clearly shown that you guys settles in really well I mean look at you guys now you know <laughs> in such amazing roles and you've been here at such a short amount of time so yeah it's it's really good that everyone's it's been a nice easy process for everyone also have you guys have hopefully it's going to be fun working with you but yeah good to be here I hope it is for you guys as well yeah definitely yeah I mean um I wouldn't probably be able to do what you guys did, breaking into a new school online and then seeing everyone in person, not trying to have that awkward conversation of, hi, who are you? Because you've already met them before. It'd be good um, also to just get to know you guys individually and talk about sort of what subjects you guys have been doing um, and talking about your plans of what you're going to do after leaving Camford. Yeah, sure. Um in terms of A-levels, I'm quite mixed, actually. Um, it's a bit of an odd mix. I'm doing maths, further maths, history and French. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying all of the subjects. Definitely think I made the right choice. And um, I'm intending at the moment to apply to study law with French, hopefully with a year abroad. But, you know, that could all change. We've got six months to our UCAS applications. But at the moment, that's where I'm headed, I think. Well, I'm studying history, business and art. I'm, <laughs> I'm not so set on what I want to do yet, like Arian. I'm kind of still not entirely sure, but um, I'm leaning towards doing a um, degree in like some sort of business, management, marketing, something that has a creative side, but also incorporates that business, um, more logical side to it as well. Uh, I'm doing quiet, sciencey subjects, so I'm doing maths, chemistry and physics, and I'm hoping to do maybe something engineering based, probably general engineering, hopefully, or maybe a degree apprenticeship, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm studying history, English, maths and drama, um, and I'm looking to do English, and English literature and language, or English literature and creative writing. I definitely want to go into something creative. It's quite a wide variety of things that you guys are all interested in, which is nice to see as you all heads of schools. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I think being rep representing like all sides of what the school has to offer is really important and also showing that, well, for me anyway, I don't necessarily know, know exactly what I want to do. You know, I haven't got my whole life figured out. I'm just a typical student at the end of the day, <laughs> you know. Um, so I think that's really key as well. And it's fine to sort of be still a bit unsure of what you want to do at this stage. And I'm sure you'll probably develop a more 
sort of solid understanding of what you want to do in the future. Yeah, and, and the teachers are so supportive and like really helping you guide you through that process. We have the further education side to school as well who send us emails and, you know, help us in that movement towards further education or, or apprenticeships, whatever you want to do, you know, there's a lot of support. So I don't necessarily feel too worried just yet. <laughs> um, so I think that's a good sign. Yeah. Are there any also sports that you guys are involved in and want to talk about? Um, I'm quite keen on my football. Today, actually, we've got house football, which is good fun because we haven't been playing since um, since the Christmas term. But that's going to be running every Wednesday now, so I'm quite happy about that. Uh, it's not in school, but when COVID wasn't a thing, and I'm hoping to go back when COVID is no longer a thing, I do a bit of parkour and kind of aerial circus skills. Well, I, <laughs> my favourite sports at Camford is tennis. Yeah, I'm like in one of the teams and I also have private lessons at school as well. But also just in general, after lessons or after prep time, just going to the gym and just having, kind of just sweating it out with your friends is always fun as well. You know, there's not just that kind of uh, sports you have to do. There's a lot of kind of, you can get involved in loads of things at school. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not really dedicated to a sport, kind of move around. If I had to choose one, I'd probably say rugby. But I would say I'm uh, quite big on the gym. It's one of my favourite places to be. I have quite a good gym, so I kind of hang out there most of the time. Always saying mat lifting heavy in the gym. <laughs> um, but yeah, for us, it's been, we've been quite lucky in the sense that we've had access to a school gym as boarders throughout the lockdown, which has been a huge plus. And a lot of people outside of a boring, boarding environment have you know, longed for that, so... That's been a really good thing. I wouldn't um, say long. I haven't missed the gym that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think also, like, you're, when you're in there, like, people that you might not necessarily have lessons with or... Because, obviously, going from GCSEs, you're doing 10 subjects to narrowing it down to three or four, you know, you're not seeing the, the, the scale, you know, the number of people that you did previously that you made good relations and friendships with. So it's, like, a good opportunity like sports or going to the gym or whatever it is to maintain those relationships and you know keep in touch with those people that aren't necessarily doing your subjects or in your boarding house so it's really nice okay so um we're going to talk about the lower school now and as you guys are the new heads of house you haven't really at school sorry you haven't really had an opportunity to send out a message so you can use this platform as a podcast to kind of send out your first message to the whole school. So if there's anything you guys like to say, a message, motivation perhaps, what do you guys think? Well, I'd just say as a younger year when you haven't really got, you still, mm, you haven't really got to worry about exams for a while, and up until about fifth form. i say when you join, just enjoy Camford. Don't be afraid to try new things. Like I know you get told that by everyone. Honestly, you might start something that you end up really enjoying. And there's quite a lot of things that is offered on the curriculum and outside of the curriculum. Genuinely, yeah, just going out and like getting out of your comfort zone, trying things you've never tried before. I mean, talking to people you probably would never think you'd talk to can open a lot of doors. Yeah, and that, that especially resounds now with COVID. Like, being a day pupil, that, that isn't happening in the outside world, but so much is happening in Camford. Like, if you can get involved, do get involved. Yeah, because I think... Because there's not many other places you can get involved at the moment and it's great what you're offered here. I think also the fact that a lot of um, prep schools or whatever school you came to beforehand, they're a bit smaller than Camford because obviously this is like a bigger senior school. You know, you have the opportunity to kind of mix with so many different people from so many different areas of, across the world for that matter. You know, we've got loads of international students as well. So I think, you know, breaking that barrier and actually stepping outside your comfort zone like Matt was saying mixing with people that you didn't necessarily know before will uh, you'll learn a lot from it and um, yeah don't be afraid like I came from a school where I didn't know anybody here and I've enjoyed every minute of it you know you just gotta push yourself to socialize with everyone and also don't be afraid if you ever want to ask us anything yeah, yeah if you have any problems or you know you want to bring a topic that we should bring up with Mr Vessi, something like that, that you want to be more spoken about at school, please come talk to us, you know. Or even just come and have a chat with us, because we don't bite, we're quite nice. Yeah, yeah, get to know everyone. <laughs> yeah, um, what did you want, 
So they hit me up, p17247.camford.com. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can send a few whole school emails, but I do have to vet them before they're sent. So yeah, whole school emails are going to be as, as amusing as we can make them. <laughs> Give you a little smile during the day. Well, that's my plan anyway. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, just email us, come, come up to us as we're walking past, whatever it is. We're here to chat or just be a familiar face. Okay, so I'm sure you have a lot of good memories at Camford, but if you had to say, what would be your favourite memory at Camford? Go think about the ones I'm allowed to say. <laughs> um, Ari, you want to start? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's been quite a short time, I guess, but um, I think uh, House Run was definitely a, a great day because it was an event where our whole year group was able to get involved. It was nice to you know be able to get a run out. All of, you know we saw everyone in their fancy dress, which was quite entertaining. And that was one of the only real house events we got to see flourish this year. Yeah, hopefully more memories to be made ac across the next year and a half. Well, for me, like, I can't. I don't think I could pinpoint one particular memory. I think my whole journey at Camford has been one big amazing memory. Um, but I think just one thing that stands out to me is just like. Um, house community, the relationships you build with people in house. It's weird, they're almost like your siblings in a way because you're genuinely living, you know, they see your best, they see your worst and they see everything in between and you like, I don't know, you build kind of a, a friendship that you wouldn't necessarily have at a day school, that's my opinion anyway. And just having those laughs and like those fun times in house is the things that I really remember and that community built as a family, like between year groups and each house is really, really comes out to me when I think about Camford. Yeah, Aaron reminded me of House Run actually. That last sprint on the end of the house cross country, there was a group of Franklin boys in front of me and I thought I'm gonna chase them down. And I had never met these people before and we were having a sprint race at the end, like just turning and grinning at each other. And it was probably the first time I was like, yeah, I could belong at this school and I could meet new people and have fun. And it was great. I was doing it with a couple of friends from my lodge and we kind of did like walk running stretches but at the end. We were full on and we almost beat most of the Franklin boys. I did beat two of them. Um, I have a few, but I'm going to say fifth form Colts rugby with Mr. Burley. That I have quite a few memories. It's not all of them good, but a lot of them were amazing. I know it's one of the most fun things I think I've done at the school. It really made me feel like a part of it. One one thing that's just sprung to my mind as well is the um the dinners that they have at Canford, like uh the fifth form dinners, the Christmas dinners, uh the sixth form dinners and like all these dinners. <laughs> um they're always so much fun, you know, um kind of having that fun dressing up and having that formal side to school and just having a sit down dinner is really nice because I don't know it's almost a time where you just kind of think back on all the good memories and stuff and you kind of celebrate that through a dinner and that's always really fun and everyone gets really excited for it lots of games and chat and laughter so yeah they're always great thank you so much guys for talking to us in this podcast it's been a really good opportunity to get to know all of you and for all the other years to sort of have a taste of what is going to come in the next year. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, new head to school. Thank you for coming on this podcast. Uh, you can get a, an applause background. <laughs> like, give it up for the new head no to problem. school. Oh, well, like that thing in Friends with like, woo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A Disney channel. <laughs> well, thank, thanks for having us. Yeah, I'm glad that we've given us the opportunity as well to like informally introduce ourselves to the school especially the younger years as we haven't had a proper assembly yet or something like that so yeah thank you yeah thank you very much yeah you've been great thank you very much yeah thanks. thank you